I didn't come here to rescue Rambo from you. I came here to rescue you from him. Well, we all appreciate your concern, Colonel. And we'll try to be extra careful. I'm just amazed that he allowed any of your posse to live. Is that right? Strictly speaking, he slipped up. You're lucky to be breathing. That's just great. Colonel, you came out here to find out why one of your machines blew a gasket. You don't seem to want to accept the fact that you're dealing with an expert in guerrilla warfare. With a man who's the best. With guns, with knives, with his bare hands. A man who's been trained to ignore pain. Ignore weather. To live off the land. To eat things and to make a billy goat puke. In Vietnam, his job was to dispose of enemy personnel. To kill. Period. Win by attrition. Well, Rambo was the best. Okay, Colonel, now you got us all scared to death. What, what do you and the special forces think I ought to do about your psycho out there? Let him go. Do what? For now. Diffuse the whole situation. Diffuse him. Provide a little gap and let him slip through it. Then put out a nationwide APB. In a couple of weeks, you'll pick him up in Seattle or someplace working in a car wash. There'll be no fight and nobody else will get hurt. I do my own work. I don't figure the best way to do that is to close my eyes and then hope he gets picked up in Seattle. Well, if you send your people in there after him, they'll get killed. You know, we're just a small, hick town sheriff's department, Colonel, but we're expected to do our duty just like our heroes in the special forces. In special forces, we teach our people to stay alive in the line of duty. No shit. I never thought of that. You want a war? You can't win. Are you telling me that 200 men against your boy is a no-win situation for us? You send that many. Don't forget one thing. What? A good supply of body bags. <laughs>